Iodine deficiency happens when your body lacks necessary iodine, which is a very important trace mineral. You see, your cells need iodine to convert food into energy, which is why low iodine can lead to lower energy. But not just that, iodine supports the thyroid gland in your neck since your thyroid uses iodine to make thyroid hormones to control the rate of heartbeats, digestion, and many other important functions. In this video, we'll be going over five of the most common signs of iodine deficiency and what to watch for, so you don't want to miss this. Stay tuned till the end of the video. Hi guys, you've seen Arsalan Media Pharmacist here on YouTube. If you guys want to learn more about making informed decisions about your health and wellness in an easy to understand way, then I'd love for you to click that red subscribe button down below. Also, give this video a like if you enjoy learning about topics like these. And since you did like the video, I thought I'd show you a picture of a cute kangaroo. Aww. Now without further ado, let's get straight into it. The United States, Canada, and dozens of other countries have salt iodization programs. Particularly in the US, salt manufacturers have been adding iodine to table salt since the 1920s. But here's the thing, most salt intake in the US comes from processed foods and food manufacturers almost always use non-iodized salts. Even specialty salts such as sea salt, kosher salt, and Himalayan salt, these are not iodized for the most part. So you aren't getting the iodine. And when you look at dairy products, they should contain iodine, but the amounts of iodine in dairy products varies by whether the cows received iodine feed supplements. Further than this, commercially prepared bread contains very little iodine as well. It's up to the manufacturer to use potassium iodate or calcium iodate as a dough conditioner. If they don't, then you really aren't sure how much iodine you're even getting, which becomes a big problem because iodine is an important essential component of thyroid hormones thyroxine t4 and triiodothyronine t3 thyroid hormones regulate so many important systems in the body and if you're not getting enough iodine the first symptom pops up which is the first symptom on our list which is swelling of the neck or what's called a goiter and this occurs when the thyroid gland grows too big you see the thyroid gland is that small butterfly shaped gland in the front of your neck. It makes T4 and T3, which are your thyroid hormones when it receives a signal from the thyroid stimulating hormone coming from the pituitary gland. And when this hormone is up, the thyroid uses iodine to make thyroid hormones as normal. But when iodine is low, thyroid hormones can't be made. So the thyroid works harder to try and make them, which causes the cells in that area to grow larger leading to a goiter. Good news is most of the time this can be reversed with adding in more iodine. But here's the problem. There are a lot of people at risk for developing a goiter and having iodine deficiency. For example, people who don't use iodized salt, pregnant women, vegans, even people who live in areas where their soil has no iodine, like in the Alps or any mountainous areas in river valleys that are prone to flooding the soil really has no iodine. So the fruits and vegetables end up being really poor sources of iodine, especially for vegans that heavily rely on fruits and vegetables. The second symptom on our list is unexpected weight gain. You see, thyroid hormones help control the speed of your metabolism. If you have iodine deficiency, your body burns fewer calories at rest, which means more calories from food you eat are stored as fat instead of used for energy which leads to weight gain. So that explains how having an iodine deficiency actually ends up causing weight gain. The third symptom is feeling tired and weak. In fact, some studies have found that nearly 80% of people with low thyroid hormone levels due to iodine deficiency feel tired, sluggish, and weak. The fourth symptom is hair loss. This is because your thyroid hormones help control the growth of your hair follicles. If you're currently experiencing hair loss, which could be from a multiple of other factors as well, not just iodine deficiency, see if getting enough iodine may help correct your thyroid hormone levels and stop hair loss. And lastly, the fifth symptom could be dry and flaky skin. Also keep in mind that a number of other factors could lead to dry and flaky skin as well. But the reason why I mentioned this is because thyroid hormones help the body regulate sweat. And you might be thinking, well, why is that relevant? People with lower thyroid hormones sweat less than people with normal thyroid hormone levels with normal iodine levels. And this matters a lot because sweating helps keep your skin moist and hydrated. So what's the solution and how much iodine do we actually need? The recommended daily intake of iodine for adult women is 150 to 300 micrograms to maintain a normal thyroid function. 
For men, it's somewhere around 150 micrograms. And mild cases of iodine deficiency, for the most part, can be just treated with using iodized salt and daily food consumption, or even adding in more saltwater fish to your diet. But if you're vegan or vegetarian, some of the best food sources of iodine, surprisingly, come from seaweed, kelp, and nori, which is found in sushi. Seaweed, for the most part, has great sources of iodine. I know, surprising, right? Here's something to keep in mind. Overall, the general US population has adequate iodine intake, but the risk is real for some, especially during pregnancy. And it's only when a person's iodine intake falls below approximately 10 to 20 micrograms a day that hypothyroidism occurs, which is important to get your iodine levels checked, as well as a thyroid panel if you suspect a deficiency in iodine is present. Click the red subscribe button and let me know what your thoughts are down below. Also, give this video a like if you did enjoy it so that I know that I can make more topics like these in the future. I'd be happy to take suggestions as well, guys. Just let me know in the comments below. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.